The depravity of MAGA is bottomless. Today, on MAGA Hates America, we're going to prove how Vladimir Putin has conspired with Marjorie Taylor Greene, James Comer, and Jim Jordan, along with other MAGA members, to interfere with our elections, to control our government from behind the scenes, and to direct U.S. foreign policy away from helping our brothers and sisters in Ukraine to resist the genocidal invasion and continued occupation of eastern Ukraine. This is shocking, it is outrageous, and all those involved knew what they were doing. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's talk about the facts and the timeline. We'll do it expeditiously because, frankly, it's simple. Two things we're going to talk about today. Number one, the sham impeachment proceedings that have been put forth by the MAGA House GOP members, primarily Jim Jordan, James Comer, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, the luminaries, the intellectuals of the MAGA movement, if you will, since the day after Joe Biden took office. That's the vehicle through which Vladimir Putin, working in concert, in conspiracy with those reptiles I just described, has attempted to interfere with our elections, has attempted to control the foreign policy of the United States, and has effectively tried to puppeteer the democracy of this country from the Kremlin, from Moscow. Number two, we're going to talk about Alexander Smirnov. He's the guy who's at the center of this web of lies, deceit, FSB false evidence, and general MAGA bullshit. Number one, let's get to the House impeachment proceedings. From the day after Joe Biden took office until today, the House MAGA GOP, has caused the paralysis of the House of Representatives by focusing on repeated impeachments, uh, attacking Hunter Biden, and this story that has been the center of, of their efforts, which has been described in interview after interview after interview by the House MAGA GOP members I described as the best evidence, as the central reason why Joe Biden has committed a high crime or misdemeanor, which is the threshold to impeach a president under the U.S. Constitution, is because... Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were each allegedly paid a $5 million bribe by Burisma Holdings, which is a Ukrainian oil company where Hunter Biden worked during the period that Joe Biden was vice president under Barack Obama. And the purpose of those two $5 million bribes was to get Joe Biden to take action, official government action, uh, to protect Burisma Holdings. And the specific quid pro quo the tit for tat, if you will, was that Joe Biden pressured the Ukrainian government through, you know, foreign policy and through, you know, foreign aid to fire a uh, Ukrainian prosecutor who was looking into alleged corruption at Burisma Holdings. That's the story. Joe Biden was paid while vice president and so was his son a bribe in order to pressure the Ukrainian government to do something to take the heat off of Burisma Holdings. That's been the story, the central evidence from the day after Joe Biden took office until now. This is what brings us to item number two. That story, which has paralyzed uh, our Congress, which has paralyzed our government as a whole, and which has caused this House of Representatives in this last session to be the most ineffective ever, okay? They don't pass legislation. They don't pass a budget. They just keep doing continuing resolutions. Now we're facing the threat of... Uh, another government shutdown and Ukraine aid has been put on the table while MAGA Mike Tiny Johnson takes a break for two weeks, including right after another House member in the MAGA GOP on the Intelligence Committee announced that there's some kind of nuclear threat and scared the shit out of the whole country. All of this chaos and all of this confusion was a lie. That's where we get to Alexander Smirnov. Who is Alexander Smirnov? He's the guy who came up with this story that the MAGA GOP has relied upon to paralyze our government and to distract us from what needs to be done, the work of the people, legislating, governing. Alexander Smirnov is a confidential human source who gave false stories to the FBI. And the central false story, the Whopper, was repeated statements and repeated under oath declarations that he was a witness personally to multiple times and was involved in the construction of these bribes allegedly paid to Hunter Biden and Joe Biden by Burisma Holdings. We know it's all a lie, what Alexander Smirnov said and what he provided to the FBI, because he's just admitted it. In 2024, Alexander Smirnov was charged with providing false statements to the FBI. On February 14th of 2024, he was arrested 
and he admitted in what's called a custodial interrogation, which means you have the right to be to, to silence under the Fifth Amendment. You have the right to an attorney. That's when you receive the Miranda warning. He didn't have to talk, and he's a sophisticated guy. He's a multimillionaire, and he's been yanking around the FBI and, and, and basically our entire United States government for years. He waived his right to be quiet. He waived his right to counsel, and he spilled the beans. He told everything. He actually said in this custodial interrogation with the FBI and the U.S. attorney that, in fact, this entire story with these sham impeachment proceedings that, that the, has relied upon was all bullshit. And in fact, even worse, it was an FSB Vladimir Putin plot that he met with and acted as effectively an agent uh, of the Russian government to peddle this lie to not only paralyze our government and not only direct our foreign policy, but also to try to, hit, to help Donald Trump get elected. He's, he's admitted it. This is not some kind of hunch. This isn't some kind of fucking nuance. This is the dude who is the guy who provided basically the only evidence, according to the people who were trying to impeach Joe Biden, he has said it. And he was about to, two days after he was arrested, go back to Russia, according to him, again, to talk to the FSB and get more direction from his Russian handlers. So think about the magnitude of this. Think about what this means. The MAGA House GOP... They knew this was bullshit. They knew this was lies. And they don't even care because they're so focused on power. They're so craven. They're so depraved. It's just literally bottomless depravity that they will do anything, including work on behalf of our enemy, Vladimir Putin, a war criminal who has invaded and occupied uh parts of eastern Ukraine and put millions of people under a totalitarian darkness, essentially continuing the suffering of the Ukrainian people over a century that they suffered under Stalin and they suffered under the, uh, the Soviet Union, that they will get in bed with that guy as long as it gives them power and as long as it allows Donald Trump to get back in the office of the president. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's unimaginable. They must be held to account. They must be impeached. They need to go to prison. This is ridiculous. Our very democracy is at stake, the survival of this country. I cannot flash the alarms enough. I cannot ring the bell of warning. I mean, Paul Revere, sound the trumpet. The Russians are coming, and they're already here. Guys, I love you. Much more content to come. God bless America. God bless Ukraine.